us, man. I'm like, WikiLeaks didn't write the document journal. Huh? You are too. You are too. of We Are Change. Oh, cool. I love you. Oh, you do? Uh, I love you, too. Give me a <laughs> I, I love you. I love you, too. I follow Thank you. Thank you so much. I follow you. Cool. Thank you so much. I love your work. I was wondering if you want to say something uh, about sure. the 10th anniversary just passing. And it just came out that a lot of the findings in the 9-11 Commission are actually being kept secret, and they were supposed to be released in 2009. I was wondering, if, do you have a comment on all the secrecy? I do have a comment on all the secrecy, and here it is. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> Come on. We know. You gotta see the yeah. we know. I thank you so much for promoting architects and engineers. I mean, you've reached a thank lot of people. Thank you guys so much no for all problem. the good stuff you do yeah. for all of you who do good things. Let's yeah. keep on. Let's help each other. Yeah, let's help let's, let's unite. Let's coalesce. Let's keep talking. Let's keep doing this. It's beautiful yeah. times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're living in beautiful times, Aren't we? and nothing is impossible, and, and we can do it if we believe won. it. We did. If you, right? We just have to realize it. Yeah. Right. Realize it and understand it. We are change. We are change. Thank you so much. 
Thousands of protesters clash with police in central Athens as they demonstrate against the latest austerity package. The government announced the measures to secure financial aid and avoid bankruptcy. Clashes between police and thousands of angry anti-austerity protesters continued in central Athens on Sunday night in the first such unrest after a summer lull. Tear gas was used as riot police blocked the protesters from accessing the Greek parliament front, where they planned to stage a demonstration against a recently announced property tax. The tax is due to be approved in parliament on Tuesday, as a part of the latest austerity package designed to ensure Greece gets an 8 billion euro rescue loan, vital to pay state salaries and bills in October. The rally of more than 2,000 protesters holding banners reading, We Don't Pay, took place in Athens, while the country's finance minister was in Washington. He was scheduled to meet European Union and International Monetary Fund officials in the U.S. capital to discuss the debt crisis. The dictatorship was not over in 1973. We want our freedom. More than 100 people were injured in clashes with police outside Parliament on June 29th and 30th as lawmakers voted on the country's so-called midterm fiscal plan. Greece announced a new wave of austerity measures on Wednesday to secure a new injection of aid and save the country from bankruptcy. This after EU and IMF inspectors made it clear they were losing patience with the government's failure to meet the targets. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, September 26, 2011. I'm Darko. Um, welcome everyone, this is my website, ggnonline.com, that's www.ggnonline.com. Um, also, you can visit me on YouTube, ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel profile. Uh, go in there and check that out, that's ddarko2012. Also on Facebook, uh, we have a global government news group, and you can join that group as well to receive uh, updates. Otherwise, you can go here, uh, put in your email address, and all the updates on GGN will be sent to your email address. Other than that, all the headlines and links that will be presented uh, in, this, in these sets of videos um, will be in YouTube's video description. Um, I have a poll up here. It's how likely is it the standards of living will increase for the surf class in the next decade. Um, so far, 97%, which is 46 uh, voters, say below 50%. And then there was one that said 90% or above. I don't, you know, I don't know if that was just someone's vote. I guess they can vote if they want to vote or what. Or if it's like one of those one thumbs downs or trolls or whatever. But either way, vote for whatever you want. Um, this is my revamp website. It uh, still needs some work, but I just want to thank, uh, thank again. Um, I see your soul. It's a YouTube uh, member and a GGN subscriber um, for the YouTube channel's layout, which is this. And then I kind of tweaked it into my website here, and it still needs some finishing touches. Um, and just one uh, disclaimer, if you see um, advertising on here that says support Israel and stuff like that and the CIA, uh, just know that that's just basically um, not in my uh, – I have no control over that. So just wanted you to know that. I'm not promoting the CIA or uh, Israel. So it says here at least 100 DHS-funded chemical and biological response units uh, surrounding occupying Wall Street protesters. So you saw there – and you saw the Asian guy that walked right past to the camera. There's a good chance that that guy right there was um, a little paid um, – I don't know what you call them. I would just call them a clandestine. They're just basically normal people that are paid to go and keep tabs. And uh, that right there, that individual, I've seen people like that uh, in uh, city or public places that are just like that, that look very, very suspicious. And uh, they're paid to do that. Uh, but besides that, yeah, those guys were just all just sitting there, just happened to be uh, interested in the Wall Street thing. So. so 80 people were arrested at Occupy Wall Street protests. And I think there's some, uh, some very small one that's uh, hatching in Los Angeles as well. And, um, you know, if you want to hear um, solutions um, to this whole economic crisis and what's going on with bankers and corporations and that, my solution is to end the government. Now, how you go about that is your own um, – it's your own decision. I mean, the whole part of um, – a volunteer society, a stateless society, or um, some people call it anarchy. I don't like that word because there's so much uh, disinformation and uh, um, uh, negative propaganda or propaganda that's gone against that, that term or that a concept or idea for the past 200 years that it's, it's really hard to use that word without it being um, misconstrued. And uh, so basically that's my solution is to end, go, end the government and do it peacefully and voluntarily and do it as individuals and not as groups, not as collectives. 
Um, and that's my solution. So when people ask me for solutions, I don't know what the, what else to say. I'm trying to provide a solution here with information, um, and I want you to think as an individual. I can't. Po- I can't. I don't want to spend the entire time, uh, th- you know, just uh, talking about stuff like this. I mean, it's good. It's great. It's wonderful. But okay, so what are they going to achieve? What's the goal here? They're you know, oh, please be nice to us, uh, corporations. Please be nice to us, uh, government. Well, when you have that, that's what you're asking for. It's going to happen. So people have all these different solutions, and they want one single solution, and I don't think that's ever going to happen. So I think uh, just basically if you want to have a government, go ahead and have a government. If people don't want to pay taxes, and this is so, and we're such a free country, then let people voluntarily opt out from paying taxes, and they won't receive any services. Now, the problem with that is like the government shutdown, people will actually say, you know what, I, uh, I'm not going to pay for it, and all of a sudden government services will go away, and they'll use all that extra money to actually live better and they'll realize that they don't need a government just like like i said this government shutdown they're using the ooh the aid package uh for these uh disaster victims of the east coast hurricane um, which was probably uh, brought on by weather modification and um so now they're going to use that as a way to pass uh, this humongous bill and uh, threaten people with a government shutdown so that's my solution and i'll try to offer more solutions uh, you can go in here and check out commodities uh, right now brent crude was uh, at 104 dollars and then i'm just going to go right to metals gold is at 1601 dollars down uh, 38 dollars silver at 30 dollars and it was up just a tad new home sales hit six month low prices drop what's my solution for this um, build your own home, uh, uh, have it inherited to you, but don't take on a 30-year mortgage and become a debt slave. That's my solution for that. 10 million more, uh, more mortgages set to default, experts say. What's my solution? Don't get into that market. Don't use it as an investment because you're playing in a rigged market and uh, you're going to be used. That's my solution. Massive job shortfall predicted for a global economy. And it says here that the uh, labor organization says the group of developing and developing nations uh, had 20 million jobs disappear since the financial crisis in 2008. Uh, what's my solution? Try to work for yourself if you can. It says here, it hurts, but do what we did, Africans tell Europeans. So the, go in there and say to do what we did and accept uh, um, these aid packages uh, like they're doing. And, you know, it's funny because in one of the African countries, they're actually kicking these Ugandans out of their own villages so that they can build uh, a sustainable tree British company. So that's what happens. Yeah, listen to them. Uh, it says here, Berkshire authorizes stock buyback plan. And of course, why is he buying all, all of his own stock? Because nobody wants it because this market is dead. Real investment is dead. And Buffett knows that. So that's a good sign, a good indicator, especially when George Soros gets out of the market or the hedge fund market and creates his own thing for his own private buddies, the elitists. And that's just going another sign to let you know a solution to get out of the market. So, And uh, it says here comes the FIAT tactic watch or Ben Big Brother Bernanke goes Watergate prepares to eavesdrop on everything mentioned. About. Then it goes in there basically says they'll be able to determine sentiment and continuously monitor conversations and identify and reach out to key bloggers and influencers so they can shut them down like they did the activist post. Ooh, it was by accident, a random uh, automated um, thing. So it says here, free checking falls to 45% of accounts, Bankrat says. And like I said before, solution, uh, this is bullshit because you should be getting paid uh, to put your money into these um, insolvent banks, right? You're you're actually propping them up, these people that put their money in there and checking accounts. You should be getting paid to do that because you have cash, and cash is king, at least somewhat king besides uh, metals. So I don't know how you should be, why you should be paying them. You're helping them. Uh, either way, MasterCard and Visa are going to raise fees on small debit purchases. Please join me in part two. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.